87.4, so still higher than I would have liked, considering what I was at last week at the end, but eh, that's what you get for being a, a binging twat. But <laughs> eh, just gotta just gotta keep going. It's going down, so that's the important thing. So I didn't get any weights done at all this morning before work, uh, just because I didn't have time. Uh, woke up quite late, quite low energy. I also had some pet stuff to take care of. So I'm doing my weights on lunch right now. I'm in kind of my second lot of sets at the moment. Had a pasta bake. Gonna have my soup a little bit later. Eating more or less the things I planned out, just a little bit out of order. Um, since I'm doing weights on lunch, I won't be doing any cardio, I'm afraid. Which means, oh, I'll have to do my cardio later. Now, I don't fancy doing the cycling and then doing my steps, just because obviously it's going to take up more time in my evening to do them separate. So, what I might do is... I might just go jogging instead of like weather permitting then you know kind of kill two birds with one stone if say I try and go jogging for like maybe 40 minutes or an hour that should deal with um, both my steps well deal with my cardio and the majority of the steps as well so I think I'm gonna do that so probably have a bit of an exhaust night and hey if anything else, after I'm finished doing all that, I might get to sleep a little easier, though this heat is probably the main issue I'm having at the moment. Well, I'm going to finish off this workout now, and then get on my things. Ooh. There we go, I'll give myself maybe five minutes to eat, then I'll uh, head up and just oh, go for a bit of a walk to the shops, get what I need to, come back stretch and then that's uh, that's the exercise done for the day hello it is seven minutes past ten in the evening I'm done for the day like I, I did my exercise a bit earlier I've just been doing other stuff like you know kitchen chores and that and just got out of the shower so I eh, may as well finish the video now because I won't be having anything else this evening uh, quickly go over calories um, so we had the Oh god, that's right, I did have a skinny whip for breakfast. Skinny whip, 100 calories. Sausage sandwich, 350. Uh, yeah, I had like a cheese sandwich, which is about 240 for my first break. I uh, had my pasta bake, which was 170 for lunch. And then this time I had my soup, which is 210 for my second break. Uh, I've had at least one more skinny whip in that time, and this is pretty bad. I can't remember if I may have had a third or not. So I'm going to count it, but it may not be accurate. So another skinny whip, 100. I had my uh, chicken dinner, which was uh, 435. And uh, finished off with a protein shake with skimmed milk, which was 175. Oh, and I've had a couple of Werther's Originals, which was around 50. Uh, rough estimates, uh, if we're going to include like the milk for drinks as well, let's just say like, uh, I don't know, 1940 calories. Um, I have a couple of lozenges as well, I'm not completely sure what the content of those is. Uh, had a little bit of fruit juice and um, some diet cola, but the diet cola was zero calories, so. Yeah, I'd say roughly like, I don't know. 1950 so a little bit over target but one of the things I did the day on top of weight was jog for about five miles over the over one hour and ten minutes so that must that probably burned a nice amount of calories as well not that I'm the quickest jogger mind because uh, the way my like legs and knees are I, I, I can't actually hard run well I can but it, it's really not good for me so I tend to be more like slow and steady like bopping around um, good for long distances but uh, not so much for a quick sprint um, so yeah I did that the day so that uh, that was my cardio done an hour's worth of cardio and most of my steps done as well so that was pretty nice um, yeah uh, 
that's about it. Uh, I really need to do more jogging. I do like jogging. I'm one of those weird freaks that actually enjoy it. And before the lockdown happened, I actually started getting pretty like damn good at it as well. Like I would jog at least a few times every week, um, usually around five miles at a time. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the day, and that is also the end of this. This is my calorie and recipe notebook I've been keeping for a long, long time. There is, it's mostly filled with just, uh, when I've tried the calorie count over the past couple of years. There's a few recipes in here, like, which I've discovered and then, like, written down, um, so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take out those recipes, copy them into a designated recipe book and uh, probably burn this to be honest there's not much else of value in here there's a couple of notes for like German lessons but I'm gonna I actually have a separate book specifically for my German lessons so I'm gonna be putting them there from now on as well and yeah I think there's a uh, there's a few notes in here about Mount Everest and the, the geography and history of Mount Everest which I was going to do a little mini documentary of, uh, it was one of my ideas for this channel, and I might still do that, so I think I'll keep these notes as well, uh, so I'll probably rip out a few pages, copy a few things out, but otherwise uh, this is going to go where I like to put um, most paper items like this, especially if they have sensitive information, and that is in the fire pit, so yeah, maybe we'll do that tomorrow, though do you know what, it's hot enough, probably won't, but yeah, that's uh, that's Monday done. I'm going to try and get up a little earlier tomorrow because I think it might be a good idea to perhaps maybe start the day with 20 minutes of cardio. So uh, whether or not that will be cycling or hell, maybe I could even do like a 20 minute jog in the morning. That might not be a bad idea, especially since the weather is, you know, it's hot, but it's quite dry. So yeah, we'll see if I do that in about 10 seconds. <laughs> 87, so starting to get back down again. Time to do my body weight stuff. Okay, so, um, I think I've done most, well, let's just say half the activity. Done my main body weight exercises. I still have about 50 push-ups. So I've got like my 100 squats to do. And, uh, yeah, physiotherapy, rehab, uh, cardio, which I'm doing right now on the exercise bike. I uh, was debating not whether I should go for a jog again. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Um, my leg's a little bit tight. Uh, but, you know, if it limbers up a bit during the day, I might do a quick jog. Didn't get one done this morning because I was just uh, up way too late. Um, yeah, and steps, that's about it. I just have my lunch now as well while on the exercise bike. It's a just a basic sandwich with a wobbit and thin with some chicken and sweet corn filler in. And I'll have my soup on the next break. Right, I'm gonna go on with this and uh, chill for a little bit before work resumes. All right, uh, done everything. Uh, even done some extra steps, so that's not too bad. And um, well, I've been done eating for a couple of hours. So let's get on the food side of things. I'm just gonna hold the camera this time because the uh, makeshift tripod I had up there has come down, and I have a real tripod to replace it. I just need to put it up. Anyway, uh, sausage sandwich, three hundred and fifty. Pasta bake, one seventy. Uh, had a chicken sandwich thing, uh, which it's on camera, which was uh, around about two hundred and fifty. I had my soup after that, which is 210. I had a skinny whip bar, which was 100. I uh, had for dinner uh, my chicken and mushroom risotto, which was about 320. I had a protein shake, uh, which was 175. I uh, Before the shake, actually, the shake thing was the last thing I had. I had a little like mini dessert Thornton's cheesecake, which I got in the clearance. That was 241. Uh, I've had about 50 calories worth of Werther's Originals, and I have a skinny cookie, which was also about 50, and uh, let's just say about 
10 calories worth of milk. I uh, used very little and I used skimmed milk, so it's probably not even that. Uh, which will put the count of the day roughly at uh, 1,926, something like that. Uh, a little bit over target, but nothing too bad, and uh, hopefully the extra steps today will help. Uh, a little hungry still, uh, but yeah, I'm not eating anything the rest of the night. I'll probably just be drinking some water, uh, maybe a herbal tea, or uh, maybe a little bit of a diet cola just to fill me up. But yeah, not bad at all. Uh, if I'm up early tomorrow, I'll try and get uh, my cardio done as well as my weight. So that's something I think I want to start doing, like actually just getting up, like maybe just half an hour earlier get more exercise done and then leave like um, lunch I can do like a good chunk of my steps then as well but uh, uh, we'll see so it's the end of Tuesday let's check out Wednesday all right 86.6 .6, so that's pre-weekend binge weight let's not screw this up all right early lunch from work Fucking hate those because um, it means the last half of the workday goes on longer than the first, but whatever. I'm just on the exercise bike again, doing some cardio. I've done my weights this morning. I'll do my fingers while I'm on the bike because I've got all my equipment around me. And I've got a new book to take notes for food on. I uh, say it's new, it's an old book, but uh, still about half of it that needs filling in, so let's just do that. Uh, Really just go through what I've had today, so I had the sausage sandwich, 350, uh, let's just say 10 for milk for the hot drinks I'm having today, I had my pasta bag, 170, I've had some cereal as well on my uh, first break today, I kind of, uh, I think I probably need a bit more fibre on my diet, so uh, I had like a small amount of cereal with some skimmed milk, that was about 170 uh, when I did the calculations. I'm going to have my uh, skinny whip probably within the next 40 minutes or so. And I'm having uh, some porridge oats with a little bit of syrup and sk skimmed milk as well. Uh, for lunch, I'll have my soup on my second break when that comes around a bit later. And then, um, yeah. I've got a plan for what I'm having the rest of the day, but we'll we'll see how it goes. Oh, and I've also been hearing a lot about uh, creatine at the moment. Like, obviously, I've heard about it before from when I've like tried to do fitness way in the past when I first started. It's a supplement I've never really tried using, and um, I've done possibly a stupid thing, and I've asked Twitter for their opinion. So um, I'll I'll see what that's like by the end of the day. And uh, hey, if anyone uh, watching this has opinions on uh, whether I should be using creatine for my like exercises, weights or anything, uh, feel free to just put them in the comments section. Alright, a little after 11 o'clock at night, I have just finished my rehab physio, which was the last thing I had to do today, and hey, got a few extra steps done, just been out walking around for a couple of hours. I'm tired. <laughs> I know I went over it a little bit earlier, but um, I'll probably just edit that bit out just so I can go over it completely now. Time for food. So, uh, we've had our... Oops. <laughs> we've had our sausage sandwich at 350 calories, uh, let's say approximately 10 calories of milk, pasta bake 170, soup 210, skinny whip 100. Uh, I had some porridge oats uh, with a little bit of milk and syrup, that was uh, 250. Uh, I did have a small chocolate bar, uh, Cadbury's Crisp Bello, for 177. They're on offer at a local place at the moment. I have also had for a snack uh, during the day a small bowl of cereal uh, with skimmed milk, which is around 170. Partly because I think my diet may need a bit more fiber, so I'm trying to eat more fibrous things and I might pick up some bran flakes or wheat biscuits to chew on next time I go shopping. Um, oh, I have had another skinny cookie, which was about 50 calories. I uh, had my risotto, which was around 320 calories. And then, uh, much later than I usually have, like probably around about 10 o'clock or just before, I had my protein shake with milk, which was 175. So, 
approximately 1882. So, yeah, I'm, I'm on target and hopefully the extra steps have done a little bit. Because it was so late when we got back from walking, I was thinking about just skipping the protein shake, but uh, I honestly, I was, I was quite hungry. And uh, so I just fill up on that and water and a little bit of diet soda, which was a zero calorie, so that should be fine. And yeah, apart from that, taste sets of the few food items, but I wouldn't say that counts so much. Let's just throw on another 10 then if, if we need be. But let's just say 1900. Uh, yeah, quite tired. So I've been out for a few hours walking, and you know, it's been a hot day. Uh, probably going to get sleep relatively early. I'm uh, just going to go shower now. I need to feed the praying mantis, feed the giant African land snail, and maybe feed some of the insects. But yeah, it's a uh, it's a good night for Wednesday, and I'm um, looking forward to tomorrow. It's a rest day, and. By rest day, I mean more steps than cardio. Don't screw it up, don't screw it up. Ah, well, I guess we're going to get started on steps then. As I probably should have guessed, I wasn't going to be up early enough to do any jogging, because lazy, I guess. I just need to sleep a bit better, and if it was a bit cool, it would be nicer, but uh, who's complaining? I'm going to do a few steps, probably just jogging on the spot indoors before work, and I'll probably be doing that on like lunch and my breaks during the work day, and then aim to go jogging as soon as work finishes, so see how that goes. Slightly different breakfast today, a half a pita bread with sausage and scrambled egg. Uh, as I'm gonna just throw up on the screen how I have been for a long, long jog, so yeah, definitely done my cardio and most of my steps in one shot. <laughs> oh, I've got a few thousand more steps to do, but uh, I'm just going to do those walking because I'm very tired, incredibly thirsty, and uh, my legs are aching a little bit. Oh, it's very late, but I've finally got around to doing my rehab physio. Let's just say I was a little low energy after uh, 30,000 steps and two hours of cardio continuously jogging. Gonna make this a really short one because I need to... I just need to wind down and uh, get some well-deserved rest, because bloody hell. I was planning on going jogging like today all along, obviously, as I've mentioned previously. I just didn't necessarily plan to go jogging as long as I did. I just kind of reached a point where I thought, you know what, let's push this a little further. And then a little bit later, you know what, let's push this a little further until by the by the time I was almost back home, I'd done 10 miles. And I can still like, just feel the heat now. It's been a few hours, but... It, feel it like inside like just this heat radiating from within so uh, I think I'll be getting another uh, cold shower in a moment anyway let's just quickly run through our Thursday calories we really need to set up that new tripod well old tripod but I loaned it out a while back and I only just got it in return so quickly go through the calories uh, sausage sandwich but sausage pita bread, actually, uh, with a bit of egg in it, was a little less than the sandwich, 310. Uh, had some cereal in the morning as well, 155. Pasta bake, 170. Soup, 210. A skinny whip bar, 100. Oats, 250. Another skinny whip bar, 100. Another skinny whip bar, 100. Uh, small cut of cheese 36 another small cut of cheese 45 then I went jogging and burned nearly all of the calories <laughs> I would have ate today and then um, uh, got back and in very quick succession uh, had my result though which was uh, so 320 yeah 320 uh, the protein shake was skimmed milk, 175, and uh, let's just say 
24 milk and uh, some of the cordial fruit juice I had. So brings us to about uh, 955. So above target, but I think I've burned a lot today. So we'll we'll see how it is in the morning. Um, it's never. It's not just gonna be a straightforward transaction of oh well I ate this much but then I burnt this much within the same amount of time. So it's not gonna sit. Uh, body doesn't quite work like that, but but we'll see. I've. Uh, God, I've definitely earned my car the other day, though. I'm going to go wash and go to bed. And then start the process again tomorrow. Alright, 86.1. So that's the lowest I have been in a long, long time. I'm probably going to ruin it, though, tonight because it is Friday and we are likely going to be having a kind of cheat meal. Though, to be honest, we're going to be getting it from the supermarket rather than takeout, and I'm purposely going to pick things for myself, which I can measure, so I'm going to try and not make it too bad, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's maybe a little bit higher tomorrow morning. But man, 86.1, it'd be so cool if in the next week I can get just, but if I can get a little bit below 86, that would be... That'll be sweet. I think that's going to be my target for next week. Uh, in terms of how I feel this morning after um, yesterday's 10 mile jog. Not too bad actually though. I have a feeling I might be struggling with the squats when I get around to them. But no, no, no I mean my, my legs kind of feel uh, slightly strained as you can imagine. But not, not, not super bad to be honest. I'm not particularly badly aching anywhere. So yeah. Let's let's see how well they do. So I am actually going to end up being a bit above target today, sadly. Um, totally my fault for mismanaging snacks. Um, so the, we are getting pizza tonight from the supermarket. Uh, my partner is getting pizza. Uh, what we usually do is get a pizza each and then share a garlic bread. I am someone to cut down a bit, so I'm actually only going to have half the garlic bread and no pizza. So what I'm having instead is just a, another pizza bread because, you know, got them in the cupboard I've filled it with like a spicy mayo sauce and some chicken so if I'm going I'm going over my target a bit but I'll at least have something relatively healthy in there well perhaps not healthy but I'll at least get some extra protein in uh, I'll add up everything towards the end of the day um, could honestly even including this in the half garlic bread I could have done so much better I've just kind of lost track of my snacks but yeah uh, uh, well we'll see how it goes Ugh, seems to be a bit of a Friday tradition doing these like super late before I'm just about to nod off. But uh, yeah, did all did all the exercises, did fifteen thousand steps. Uh, did I cardio on the exercise bike this time because my legs are still like really stiff and a bit uh, a bit pulled from the ten mile jog yesterday. Uh, let's go through food. Quite a bit above target, and I know I usually do a cheat meal on Friday, but I really wasn't keeping on top of things as well as I should have, but let's go. So I had the uh, sausage and egg and a pita, which was 265, pasta bag 170, I had a little bit of cereal 155, uh, soup 210, uh, two skinny cookies, cookies 100, uh, skinny whip bar. 100, uh, a little bit of cheese, 74, and I had another pita bread, so 143, but this one, I put in some chicken, so that was about 250. Uh, I've also had like little bits of snack meats throughout the day, so that's a 210, and then the uh, sauce I put in with the chicken and the pita was around 50 itself. Uh, let's just, you know, add maybe... I don't know, 510 for the milk and the hot drinks. Now, while I was out, one big mistake I did make was I ended up buying some dime chocolate bars and I ended up eating, eating two of them. So that's cost me 300 needless calories. And then came a pizza night. Now, um, I think I may have mentioned this earlier. I 
decided because I knew the calories were going to be quite high, like even before I had some of those later snacks, that I wasn't actually going to have any pizza, I was just going to have half the garlic bread, and then, you know, probably would have the other half of the pizza. I ended up in kind of light of me doing the calculations to even cut that down more for myself, so I ended up having just a quarter of the garlic bread. So that was about 305 calories, so uh, totals today around about uh, 2,332-ish, around about that. And yeah, I haven't really had anything else apart from liquids since then, and no high calorie liquids. Most of it was maybe Diet Cola, which was like negligible, and other than that, I've just had water, so... Yeah. So, you know, sadly, the scales are probably going to be a bit up tomorrow, because I also ate, you know, by the time I actually got back and cooked, it was a lot later than when I would usually eat, so that was another factor. Oh, we'll just see how it's going tomorrow. I'm probably going to have a large-ish breakfast in the morning, because uh, we've got, like, uh, beans, uh, bacon, and egg around, so... Um, I won't be having a large breakfast. Uh, my plans to make my partner quite a large breakfast because they're going to work, and you know, I'll have some of the stuff, but I'll probably just have a bit of a sandwich. But uh, uh, we'll see. It's a wait day in the morning, so let's try and undo some of the damage I've done today. <laughs> Okay, 85.5 apparently, um, I have weighed a few times there and it keeps going with the same weight, that is very surprising because I would have thought, well, to be heavier and if there was a possibility of a loss, no way that much, I don't know, um, water retention, I had food on my stomach previously, no idea, no idea. But hey, if that's right, that's my, that's probably the lowest I've been in years. So I'm kind of, yeah, surprising. Um, I guess I'll get all my things then. My, my legs this morning are super, super stiff. Um, I seem to have forgotten that from when I used to regularly jog, that sometimes it's like the second day that really gets you, not necessarily the day right after. But, uh, oh, we've got to keep going, so we've got steps to do, and we've got weights to do, and... Uh, I've got a bit more of a calorie-dense breakfast than usual, but I'll I'll try and even that out the rest of the day, but... 85.5, yikes. <laughs> That's, uh... I'm, I'm pleased. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, let's get on with the day. Yep, 86.7, not all surprised. I'll uh, quickly go over what happened yesterday. So after a really good start yesterday, a similar thing happened as the previous week in that I just kind of lost control of myself a little bit. Now I started eating really pretty well, but then... God, I don't know, I just kind of got hit by some weird lackadaisical wave where I just I kept kind of nodding off and uh, I don't know I just it was a bit lazy um I think when I didn't have like a definite structure in place or any plan I can kind of get like that no excuses though and um, point was I was lazy and um, by the end of the day I hadn't done any exercise at all I'd spent a bit too long playing a fucking computer game and like my food just ended up turning absolute shit I ended up you know Going out a bit, I um, ended up getting some takeout food, so I'm not even going to show any numbers here because I don't know them, but it's going to be like fried chicken, uh, like Coca-Cola, milkshake, um, yeah, just kind of gave in to the whole shit again and didn't do any exercise and I'm not going to... I'm not going to make this a super long story like the last time that happened, but it's kind of irritating because it's like both occasions I've done like the best I can only to fucking flip within the same day. Who knows? Maybe it's a psychological thing. But 
Yeah, yeah. It, uh, it wasn't as bad as last week's, and I did restrain myself a little bit as time went on, but mm, yeah, I don't feel great. And I didn't record a diary yesterday just because it actually just got a bit too late um, when I realized I hadn't recorded anything. As in, like, the early hours of the morning, and kept meaning to put something on, but I was in that really, you know, tired stupor. You know, when you're just kind of drifting in and out of consciousness. The, the stage where you really should just go to bed, but you're still just, like, sitting on the sofa or doing other things, just trying to get through another minute, and... Yeah, I just ended up crashing in bed, so I just thought I'd leave all our calling for this morning. Um... Yeah, weight's jumped up a bit. Um, I think most of that is just going to be what I was lying on my stomach, though. So I'm not, I'm not super concerned. I know I can do this. I've got this. You know, I've just had another shitty trip up. Um, it's a lot later in the day now because I've actually, um, I've actually slept in longer than usual as well. It's about eleven now. Um, I haven't been asleep this whole time. I have been awake, but <laughs> the weather's kind of changed. It's went a little bit colder. Which, to be honest, I was kind of hoping for the past few weeks, but uh, even so, it's like you 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 kind of start adapting to the heat a bit, and then when it's suddenly cold again, it's like, oh, I, I need to wrap up and just not move out of this quilt. But, um, I'm actually not sure what they do about exercise today, to be honest. Because usually it would be my climb day. I also missed weights day, though, yesterday. And... I know it shouldn't really matter too much because I've had a bit of a break in between, but I kind of feel like because I haven't done weights, I shouldn't just jump into climb day again. So I might actually end up doing something else. I will keep you up to date, but I might uh, I might do some of the old hit exercises I used to do a while ago. Like just the very high intensity, like uh, 20 minute ones. So yeah, I might do that and... Um, since it is a bit cooler as well, I might actually do another jog. Probably not going to be 10 miles again, but I'm good. I'll am i do something. Yeah, cardio and hit exercise, that, that sounds good, yeah. I think, I'll, I think I'll skip the climbing since I didn't do the weights. Should make a difference, but yeah, I'm a bit funny like that. I want to keep more or less equal days for each exercise, so... Yeah, let's, let's do something else. So for the last week of the month, let's be even extra accountable. I am going to try and document, uh, document, document every single thing I eat. So this might seem like quite a bit, but it's uh, it's breakfast slash lunch because it is quite late in the day. I won't be having anything else for a few hours. So got some oven baked rolls, and I. Oh, should point out, it's also this vegan butter, which I really like, um, which I buy for no other reason, except it's just, it's delicious, like, clearly I'm not vegan, looking at what else I'm eating now, but, uh, yep, one baked rolls, bacon, egg. The bacon is boiled and the eggs are poached, so there's no, no oils in that. Apart from whatever's going to be in the, uh, in the vegan butter. Alrighty. Boosh. So, yeah, that's uh, breakfast slash lunch. In part two, it's like the damage has been done. You've alienated your core audience. Right, so I went out a bit of a walk just to go to the shops. That's where I got the uh, this kind of soda, which... Oh, calories. It's like 3 per 100 ml, 250 ml. Six. Oh, let's just say, let's just say eight. Eight calories for that. Uh, so that was a an energy drink. Uh, I also picked up a couple of other things. Uh, I am about to head back out to the shop again because there's a couple of more things that I need to get. Uh, also doing it in two trips instead of doing the whole thing in one just kind of helps my step count a little bit. Uh, I will still be going out for a jog later, so I'm going to do a little bit of extra steps today apart from just the 15,000 target, considering I didn't even hit it yesterday. Uh, right, so I'm going to have some of this, which I picked up a discount right now. Uh, this is a fucking pet peeve of mine. Per 160k cal. Yeah, well, the pot's 150. Just have fucking per pot. But anyway, that's easy to work out, so that's 90. I'm also going to have a, 
<laughs> basically another similar thing as well. Um, so per 100, 106. This is such a fucking pet peeve of mine. I believe the, yeah, the pot's 180. So I've already did the math to that, which is okay. So that's, uh, what, that one's 191 calories? So, yeah, that's what I'm having now. Uh, the reason I'm having these instead of anything a bit more substantial is, although I am going to like quickly just walk to the shop now, when I get back from the shop, I'm more or less going to start on my uh, hit exercise pretty much straight away. Uh, it's it's one that I used to do semi regular. I haven't done in a long time. I'll I'll probably do a little bit of a video demonstration for it, but probably just a, to demonstrate the different exercises. The exercise itself, um, bit too much information here. I tend to do in the nude because they are so intense and you heal up very quickly. And I will be pouring with sweat in a matter of fucking no time. So, yay, yeah, yeah, I have that look forward to. But anyway, that's why I'm just having a couple of light things right now, because I'm going to be going to intense exercises not so long, and then after a little bit of recovery from my head exercise, I'll be going jogging. So, yeah, while I was out walking, I had another kind of energy drink. I am just going to have this now as well, uh, 75 calorie, well, 74 calorie skinny crunch, uh, with a cup of coffee, so... Uh, let's put a few calories on just for the, the milk. I'm using the last of my uh, Long Life semi-skimmed milk because I've pretty much switched to skimmed full-time now otherwise. Um, I am on... Let's bring it up. Uh, those are my steps at the moment from going out walking. I'm going to do maybe around 5,000 steps indoors. Um, probably just walking slash jogging on the spot. Then I'm going to uh, do a bit of stretch, and then I'm going to do my hit exercise, which, although will take less than 20 minutes, is probably the most exhausting thing um, I have in, like, my exercise repertoire. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll, um, then probably, uh, I don't know, maybe breathe for 15, 20 minutes. Or say I did a few thousand steps now and a few thousand like steps indoors after it. Then I'm going to go out and jog. Depend on my body, of course. I aim to do at least 10,000 steps jogging. Now I've mentioned this before, like my jogging isn't like, I don't go like, isn't like a quick jog. Um, for reasons, you know, including I'm um, not having the best knee joints. I jog, but it's usually kind of slow and steady. Like, I'm not going at a fast pace, like, fast pace, and I'm not hard running. So, I'll probably spend maybe a little over an hour jogging after this, but uh, we'll see. That's the plan, anyway. I'm making up for yesterday. So I'm going to go eat this now with a bit of a coffee, have a bit of a walk around indoors, maybe do a couple of my chores inside, and then I'll, I'll see you next for the hit. Gosh, you know, I used to do those like every couple of days, every day or so before I started doing like the uh, the weights and the like the body weight exercises. Bloody hell, like, it's even less than 20 minutes, because uh, I put on a 20 minute timer, but when you do like the the 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, then at the, then at the end of the set you have the minute break. It actually only comes to about 17 minutes, but my goodness, that's 17 minutes. I am really red. I am absolutely positively damp with sweat after that. Um, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cool down for a few minutes. Then I'm gonna start doing some uh, stretches, preparing for the jog. So, oh, may as well use the tripod and sit at a different place for once. Oh, I've just gone in from that jog. I've got. Uh, Chicken and mushroom risotto heating up, heating up again a bit like the day I did the long jog in the last week. I'm having it a bit later than usual, but um, I have to eat because otherwise I'm going to be in a serious calorie deficit. So, uh, cutting the app, uh, I have done. Okay, it uh, 
doesn't seem to want to tell me, yeah, uh, done 10,121 steps, uh, about an hour, nine minutes, and according to this it says I jogged uh, 5.66 miles. Now, although I did kind of say when I was recapping Thursday's long jog that I'd definitely done 10 miles there, uh, it just occurred to me on the way here that that might not be strictly true. Um, the app I usually use for measuring distance is Map My Run. Uh, be honest, I haven't used it in a long time because I've been counting more steps than distance in the past year. And uh, I totally forgot um, the distance on like the step counter on the, the ProFit app, it kind of works off like estimations of like stride length. So when it's saying I've done like a certain amount of miles, I wouldn't necessarily say that as gospel. It's just kind of a, an estimation based on that. So. I think we could ignore that, uh, but uh, today, at the very least, I have been jogging for over an hour and I've done over 10,000 steps there, added to the steps I've done walking, and indoors today, I have done 32,000, so, well, maybe it goes a little bit of making up for yesterday, uh, now I just have to uh, try and do good on my food the rest of the day. Um, it's probably going to feel quite heavy eating the um, a portion of chicken and mushroom risotto at this time, especially right after jogging. But uh, I might have to try and muscle else something down as well, just so like the deficit isn't like too great, because I've only had about a thousand calories today, and yeah, uh, the mushroom risotto, chicken and mushroom risotto, from what I remember, is only like three hundred and odd. So yeah. Um, Anyway, I'd better go and eat and drink some um, fluids to, you know, replenish my liquid and uh, some electrolyte, electrolyte replenishing fluids as well. All right, for sake of uh, keeping record on things like I said I would, chicken and mushroom risotto. Um, calories for that. 300 and odd, but let me just double check. 320, approximately. I'm gonna have at least one of these, maybe one more because I got one more left and then that's all of them, but obviously depends how bloated I wanna feel and I don't wanna feel like too bloated straight away. Oh, all right, it's literally only a few minutes after that. So I'm having my second portion of risotto, which is again, 320. Uh, I'm having some pita bread with it because uh, I just need to use it up really and I felt like I'm some pita bread. Uh, pita bread is uh, 143 and I'm um, having my um, protein shake with skimmed milk so that's uh, 175 I think. So uh, total calories today are uh, 1,911-ish. i tell you what, let's be safe and throw in another 20. No, another 10. 1,921. So a little bit above target, and honestly a little bit above what I might want to have done today, just because, you know, how shit I did yesterday with all the, you know, take out chicken and crap and not doing any exercise, but also don't want to starve myself. It can be a tricky balance sometimes, so I'm going to have this. Um, if I get it finished in the next eight minutes, then I would have at least stopped eating by eight o'clock, so. And then, um, not eat anything else the rest of the night. I've done my hit, done my cardio, and I uh, just need to do some physio. Ah. Mm. Oh, just turned eight. Right. <laughs> Uh, it's probably not recommended, it's chocolate milkshake. Oh well. Done for food. I'm gonna go stretch. Alright, done my physio and be in the bath. Had a bit of a shave and... Yeah, won't be eating anything else the rest of the night. It's about 25 to 10 now. I'm gonna try and be in bed by between 11 and 1. Yeah, sometime between then. Maybe around 12-ish, but we'll see, but uh, yeah, nothing else to do. So, uh, the number I've given before, which was um, 1921, let's say 1931 calories. The only reason is I've been drinking uh, quite a bit of 
you can drink like fruit, like cordial fruit juice, like dilute, but that comes up to like about three calories per 250 mils, so it, it actually doesn't really come up to much at all, so yeah, let's just say 1,931. And um, I think I'll just show off the, close the video early, and part of the reason is I'm going to be editing it the rest of the night, so it's uh, See how I do on week four.